let us start with the features of planning so the first feature of planning is planning focuses on achieving objectives right in our example the pen example so what was the objective to earn much better profit or to reach a larger audience or to create a brand value right these were the objectives or goals so for that what you did right so from whom we need to purchase raw material and for how much we need to purchase and at what quality we need to purchase and how much employees are going to work on the task and how to sell and at what price we need to sell so these are the planning correct for what you are doing planning correct so to achieve the main objective to earn profit or to create a brand or to reach larger audience that is the main objective right for that the planning is working for that right so we are working through plan to achieve the objectives of the organization correct so planning focuses on achieving objectives let us see the points so first point organizations are set up with a general purpose in view what is the general purpose which means to make profit or to create brand the same thing the objective correct so specific goals are set out making profit right that is the main objective so in the plans along with activities to be undertaken to achieve the goal right so if you plan and do nothing so what will happen nothing will happen right we should work on the plan according to the plan correct then only we can achieve the objective correct so thus the planning is purposeful it has a purpose correct so next point is meaningless planning is meaningless if it doesn't contribute towards the goal so if the if our planning is not contributing towards our goal so then why we need to plan there is no requirement of plan correct so we don't need a plan if there is no objective or if it is not working towards objective it will be meaningless right the second feature is primary function obviously yes it is primary functions correct we have five functions planning organizing directing controlling and staffing also correct five functions out of that five functions if planning is not there which means nothing will be there correct so if there is no plan there is no business correct then what is the work for organizing staffing and the controlling directing there is no work for these functions if there is no plan right it is a primary function and it is the base for the business the third one planning is pervasive pervasive means universal correct pervasive means universal at all levels of management you require plan correct if three levels of managements are there correct in top level management also we need plan in middle level also it is required and in lower level also it is required so but it differs in different levels correct according to their role and responsibility the planning will be different to according to their profile correct so if top level top level will plan for whole business middle level some department level planning and lower level 
day to day activities correct so like this the it differs to different levels so let us see what is written on the board required at all levels of management it may be department it may be day to day activity it may be top level management correct which is not exclusive which is not exclusive particularly for top level management only that doesn't mean the top level management only should plan obviously no each and every level of management required planning correct so let us move to the fourth one so the fourth feature of planning is futuristic which means what were you doing when you are imagining about the business right you are you were thinking about the future happening so this should happen and how it should happen right this is the futuristic thinking correct obviously planning is futuristic right what is the point looking ahead and preparing for the future we should look ahead and prepare the plans right obviously we are not going to make plans for the past which is completely useless so obviously if we are planning that is for the future right then purpose planning is to meet future events effectively so what is the purpose planning is to meet future events effectively so future is absolutely uncertain we won't even know what will happen in future correct so for that we need a plan so that according to that plan we are going to meet the future events correct then involves analyzing and predicting future so it involves analyzing and predicting futures right so i want to do this i and how it is to be done correct so these are the predicting futures so the next feature of planning is continuous how how planning is continuous because you are not going to plan for entire business life obviously yes you will plan for one year two year or max to max five years correct after reaching to that point or after achieving that goal the next plan will lead us correct we should make another plan to run the business obviously yes let's see what is the point so prepared for a specific period of time that is one year two year or maybe max to max five years and end of one plan leads to a new plan after reaching to that point we need to make another plan we need to structure a new plan right so then the sixth feature of planning involves decision making involves decision making let us say uh in the market our raw material suppliers are countless so there are n number of suppliers for raw material correct so from whom we need to purchase or for how much we need to purchase at what quality we need to purchase these things must be decided correct it involves decision making let us see the points planning involves choice from among various alternatives and activities suppliers are the alternatives there are n number of alternatives correct so from whom we need to purchase that is decision making next if there is one possible course of action then there is no need of planning so if there is only one supplier in the market then why we need to plan right there is no requirement of plan straight away go and purchase from him 
right if don't want don't do the business right that will happen correct next point planning required when alternatives are available when there is alternative then we need a plan from whom to from whom we need to purchase at what price correct so next planning involves examination and evaluation of each alternatives so you need to compare each and every supplier supplier just a example correct so we need to examine each supplier so from whom we need to purchase and at what price and at what quantity and at what quality so these must be decided and examined and evaluate those suppliers and products right this ends your sixth feature and there is one more feature let us see the seventh one the seventh feature is planning is mental exercise so while planning are you using your brains are you using your imagination right so that is mental exercise working from your brain so you need intelligence and imagination correct and logical thinking also and you should know and imagine the future also correct so that is mental exercise let us wind up this class if you like the video please subscribe and share the video and if you have any doubts you can ask in instagram the link is in below description right thank you for watching and take care